around brushes should be illegal. Around brush is a one-way ticket out of our industry. People are killing themselves with round brushes. Blow dry bars, you've heard of these places? Yeah. Where people just go to get blown out? Do you know what the average life expectancy of a cosmetologist in a blow dry bar, and I don't mean that the young lady that works there is going to die. When I say <laughs> yeah, life expectancy, I mean she's gonna work there and she's gonna quit. Do you know what the average life expectancy in a blow dry bar is in America? Less than a year. Do you know what they blow out in blow dry bars? They don't blow out hair, they blow out shoulders. Yeah, yeah exactly. Question is, I am not going to get you to put away your round brush. You're not going to do it. You love your round brush. I know. There's many other ways to get hair smooth and straight, and there's many other ways to bend, bump, and curl hair. We have lots of other tools and lots of other choices, but I know you. You love your round brush. That being the case, can anybody think of what are some examples of things we can do to make a round brush hurt us less? Switch arms. Switch hands if you can. Ambidextrous. That's a good one. What else? Raise your hand if you got one. Keep your shoulders down. Keep your shoulders down. How can we keep, keep your shoulders down? It's easy to say. What can we do? There's a simple the thing we can do to alter our shoulder position. Move the chair. Move the chair. Change the height of the chair. That's one of my favorites. By varying the height of the chair, we can affect where we impact our shoulder behind the chair. Good one. What else? Get an assistant to blow them out. Love that one. Absolutely. Two points for that answer. What do you got? Um, don't torque your wrist. Don't torque your wrist. Move the motion to your fingers and move it out of your wrist. That's a great one. What do you got? I actually found out I was round brushing no. all the time. Um, yesterday, you're supposed to actually just smoothly come down as it's drying. This whole thing that we flip and go. It looks great on stage, though. Oh, it looks awesome. I thought I was doing Okay. Like I got the flip motion down, okay. but apparently he was like, you can't get the hair smooth like that because you're Okay. Short. That's more about the hair. I'm more interested in the hair in the hair doer. What can we do right. to be nicer to ourselves? Rough dry it before you start. Rough, rough dry it. Yeah. How about knocking most of the moisture out first? Because hair doesn't bend or take shape until it's 85, 90 percent dry anyways. And to put wet hair in a round brush, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And by the way, wet hair has a whole lot more friction and pull, and you're going to be struggling. You're going to hurt yourself. What else? Um, chemicals and let the heat do Chemicals let the heat do There's a lot of hair care product now that's designed to increase rapid drying. Let product do some of the work and support you. How about don't put the whole head in the brush? How about section it down so you're not trying to put a whole head of hair into a round brush. You've got less torque and force and minimizing the stress and strain. So as a group, we've got about 15, 12-ish really great ways that we can make blow dryers hurt us less. Good stuff. Anybody else? Contribution? Yes, sir. This has nothing to do with what could be done. Throw it in anyways. What the heck? Change the brush. Change the brush. What do you mean? Make the brush do the rotation instead of your hand. In what way? What do you... Where are you going? Mechanize the brush. Oh, okay. All right. Go engineer us a better brush. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Go for it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You'll have a booth here at the show next year with a mechanical brush. See him next year at his booth for a better brush. Yeah.